everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. It's Sunday morning at 9.22 and I'm officially on the road. I wanted to get on the road earlier, but that didn't happen. Um, which it never does happen the way you want it to, but that's okay, I'm not stressed. Um, I don't believe I forgot anything, which is a good thing. And um, so I had to drop Ian off. He, we were supposed to stay at Kate's house last night, but it was 10.30 and I still wasn't anywhere near ready. And the poor guy needed to sleep. I mean, he's usually in bed by nine. <laughs> so, and you know, we just wore him out for the day. I uh, took him out in the morning. I had to go pick up that free scrapbooking stuff that I videoed about. And then, um, I, um, the rest of the day, you know, he helped me get stuff ready, cleaned up my car, I had to go and, uh, vacuum it so my car's all nice and clean, and, um, then I started packing my clothes and realized I had to do another load of laundry, so I got that done, so it was a very busy, busy, busy day, um. And then I had to pack my scrapbooking stuff. Oh my goodness. I had so much. I, always, I still have a lot of stuff, but I had so much stuff. I was so frustrated. I couldn't pack it in the suitcase that I wanted to pack it in. Um, it wasn't fitting, and I just... It was getting later and later, and I was tired already. So I um, ended up just dumping everything in two boxes, and I said, okay, really, I need to weed this stuff out. I just need to do it, because I can't take all this stuff. I just can't do it. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. So I did, I weeded out, moved from two boxes to one box. Um, plus I have, I have enough stuff. I have some, some of those um, case, cases that have handles on them and stuff, so I have those too. And everything's a little bit better organized than it was. Everything's in Ziploc bags, so it's not all over the place. Like all the stickers are in one Ziploc, all the ribbon is in, you know, the all that kind of stuff. So that's a good thing. Um, so didn't end up going to sleep till 2 a.m. and I was awake at 5. I suppose my alarm was supposed to go off at 6. I was awake at 5.15. But I did get three good hours of sleep. So three good hours is better than bad hours, <laughs> four or five bad hours of sleep. So I felt, you know, okay when I got up and stuff, so I uh, got Ian ready and then Jack had to mount everything in my car, my phone, so I could do this video stuff. It's a little shaky when I go over bumps, but so he had to do all that this morning and get the right cables and uh, everything and get my GPS going and of course, the GPS won't stick to the windshield, it keeps falling off, so I have it on the side of me. I decided not to use my phone for a GPS so I could have it free for videos, and um, it's going to work out well because I can upload the videos right to um, Google+, Plus and then from there um, to YouTube. So I tried it and it worked out well. So that's what I'll be doing. So I didn't have to take the video camera, another piece of equipment, everything else. So I have enough stuff. And you know, packing, I'm going to be gone almost a month, just shy of a month, uh, a couple days shy of a month. And packing for a month, and I, again, I know I'm going to do laundry at different places and stuff, but it's just... <laughs> but I really everything was washed, I realized I actually have a lot of clothes, summer clothes. I was like, wow. I think I had like 13 pairs of capris. 
Um, <laughs> which I was like, wow. And I actually think I have a couple more that I have in my closet still. So, but anyway, <laughs> but I did buy, I am, I bought like really people, I'm sorry, I'm going to be, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be driving and then talking to the, to the other drivers because they frustrate me. There's a police officer with somebody pulled over off the side of the road. I'm in the fast lane and everybody's braking and we're not even doing the speed limit and they're all braking and it's like really people just because there's a cop with somebody pulled over he's not going to notice you going by anyways so um yeah i didn't even know where i was but so we got everything ready in the car dropped ian off made sure he was all set tim's watching him so that's all good and then um stopped at to get to fill up my car to top it off because it wasn't I had filled it up the other day, but then it was half full, so I topped it off. I wanted to start with a full tank. And then I um, went inside, because there's a sub shop that's really good, and I thought I could get a sub. But at 9 o'clock in the morning, you can't, they, they're not open to, to make subs. I was really craving a tuna sub. Oh, well. So anyways, then I, so I got an um, energy drink figure just in case um, and I'll figure I'll need it at some point because I will get like pretty uh, tired at, with only the three hours of sleep I'm good now but after a while I will be getting tired so got the energy drink and then I um, went to McDonald's and they have dollar coffee for a dollar. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'll save the energy drink for later. Get two iced coffees for two dollars and change. And, you know, two medium iced coffees. It's cheaper than buying, you know, something else. A larger coffee. You can get more coffee that way. So I ordered my two medium iced coffees for two dollars and change. So I got the coffee for now. And, uh, the energy drink for later. So I think I think I probably will be pretty good. Um, at some point, I'll probably gonna be like, Whoa, you know, like pumped up on caffeine. So all will be good. <clears throat> so I'm excited now that I'm actually on the road. Like I said, it's later than what I said, but um, my GPS says that it is six hours. 10 minutes. So it's 9.30. So that's like 3, 3, 4 o'clock-ish. But with stops, it'll probably be... If I get there by 6 or before 6, I'll actually be really happy. And I think that I can do that. So I think that... Uh, I'm going to be good, you know. Like I said, I've done it before, and uh, it was so much fun last year, and uh, this year I'm just visiting Becca for a while, I'm visiting a few friends, and uh, a couple friends, and I'm, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see Becca. I miss her so much. She's my bud. You know, when she lived here, we were, we were really close, you know, and so we we hung out a lot and you know I always got to see Ava and Logan and everything and so I, I miss that but she's in a better place you know she's 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 doing really really well and uh, so yeah she lives with her mom they have a house together her mom has the downstairs and it's a nice finished basement it's a nice area they share the kitchen and stuff like that but Becca's got the upstairs and the kids each have their own bedroom and she's got a great job. She's, she works at a chiropractor's with her mom, where her mom works. She loves her job, which is phenomenal because we work together. Well, I worked with her in training and then for a year after that. And she stayed, and I left after a year because I just couldn't 
couldn't stand it. She stayed, I think she made it there almost six years. I don't even know how she did that, but anyways, um, she couldn't stand it either. But So now it's nice to see her much happier and, you know, <clears throat> content. She misses, she misses her friends though, because she's, it's really difficult, you know, with the two kids and everything to kind of go out and meet people and stuff like that. So this is the second time I visited her. She moved last August, um, and this is June, so, um, July by the time I see her. So in about a year, I've actually seen her twice, <clears throat> and, uh, she's got a couple other friends coming out. Her other really, really good friend is coming out in September, I think, or August. No, probably August. And, um, so that'll be nice. So she's got a lot of, a lot of stuff to look forward to this summer, that's for sure. So, anyways. Alright, enough jibber-jabbering for me. Uh, I'm going to, uh, end this video now. And I will videotape... <coughs> the video, you know, when I've been on the road for a while, again, but I just wanted to say I'm officially on the road, and, um, like I said, it was nine, a little after nine when I got on the road, so, alright everyone, I will be talking to you soon, bye!